Hi everyone, I want you to meet the expert on climate change. It's none other than my friend, your friend, everybody's friend, Andrew Bolt. Now, Andrew got slammed by some professor of some description, and Andrew will criticise who this professor is and what background he has. And I would criticise Andrew Bolt for his lack of professionalism in relation to this particular subject either, because he too is not an expert and is not a journalist. And I've, I just want to play a little bit of a snippet that Andrew Bolt has because he is feeling somewhat aggrieved that he's been criticised for statements that have been made about him and about Sky News' effort to denigrate uh, the notions around <clears throat> climate change, or that there is, for that matter, any climate catastrophe at all. Of course, we don't need to wait for this to happen, but uh, I'm sure that at some particular point, some 15, 20 years down the track, if Bolt is still with us, he'll realise what a mistake it was to be able to make the sorts of comments that he makes that denigrate any effort to warn us about what's happening in relation to our climate. So I'll play just a segment of what Bolt has to say, and then we'll talk about it on the other side. An expert in neurogastroenterology says there's something wrong with me. The point is that he's a person who's taken interest in this particular area. He is a professor. He's obviously done a lot of reading, far more reading than what you've done. And uh, he's out there criticising you, and I think rightfully so. Professor, like I say, in neurogastroenterology, not climate science, has just given a lecture to a group called Doctors for the Environment, saying that I am part of a global hub of disinformation on global warming. And no truer word has ever been said, buddy, about you. Global hub, no less. And that what I say is 100% bullshit. Now, I actually think he's on to something. Oh, for once, for once, Andrew and I have got to agree with him. We've got to agree together. This is a momentous occasion that someone has called Andrew's comments bullshit and Andrew agrees with him. Misinformation on global warming is indeed a huge problem. I've said so for years. Yeah, but primarily, and to be fair, primarily propagated by you. Huge. Just last week, I read that the Green Party candidate for the US Senate, one of them, uh, said... I now, now, I need to point out here that uh, there are crazy people on both sides of politics. There will be people that will argue, and they do in my comment section, that oh, I'm one of them. But I am also, I think, well, I attempt to be relatively rational about some of these issues. And the person that she's highlighting here, this Christina Carlo, is a US Senator, Greens, probably will never get into the Senate as a Green Senator anyway. Um, but he has to present her. Now, who gives a shit? that she's a Green Senator and that she's from the United States. But this is what Andrew does. This is his version of journalism. He'll pull out this bizarre statement from this quite inconsequential woman and uh, talk about what it is that, that she had to say. experienced my first earthquake in New Jersey. We never get earthquakes. The climate crisis is real. Now, Christina Kali, uh, like I say, Green Party candidate for the US Senate, Apparently an intelligent woman, kind of, I don't know, claims that global warming is causing earthquakes. At, at this point, I think it would have been helpful if he also quoted Marjorie Taylor Greene, who indicated that uh, because there are earthquakes in the US, um, they have to be on a fault line, I hasten to add, uh, and that there was the eclipse yesterday, that uh, because of these two events, that this is God's wrath. Now, um, I don't know whether we could take much from anything Marjorie Taylor Greene says, but it is just as bizarre a statement as what this woman is also saying about earthquakes and climate change. I don't know the science in any of this. There could be some, but I doubt it. But uh, nevertheless, you know, let's, let's talk about Marjorie Taylor Greene. 
and her crazy comments about uh, the end of the world coming or the end times because of the eclipse and because of the earthquake. Quakes? You just wonder how, how could this poor young woman have come to believe something so plainly idiotic that a slight rise in temperature is causing earthquakes in New Jersey, which, by the way, actually happens to be, and this might not be in the relevant detail, situated on the Ramapo fault line. Now, you've got to wonder who put this crazy idea in her mind. I think, too, that we need to consider that there's a vast difference between this obscure senator who will never win a seat in US Congress, to someone like Andrew Bolt, who has access through the Liberal Party network, uh, Sky News, Murdoch Press, and whatever. So the voices are different. And uh, she would not be heard by very many, whereas he gets heard by thousands of people who think he's the smartest thing on this planet. In fact, I'll take you to... Uh, uh, I'll take you to just a couple of the comments that I thought were quite interesting in this area. I don't know if you can see them here. I've got I think I'm... So, uh, God, uh, we need sensible journalists like Andrew Bolt. Now more than ever, someone says 100% true. He's actually unbelievable. Global warming caused the earthquake. Could you cancel intelligent woman branding? Uh, love your common sense approach to these issues. Keep up the great work. Isn't it awesome when a television presenter called bullshit on the so-called experts we all have to listen to. Love, Andrew. So Andrew gets all these... You know, like, it'd be, it'd be exciting, frankly, if I got some comments similar to those of Andrew's. Um, I would suspect that if anybody places a negative comment up with regard to Andrew Bolt, it'd probably be uh, filtered out, I would imagine, because there's no way in the world Andrew would like to find out that there are people in the universe who think he is full of bullshit, as he quite rightfully, rightfully said about himself. But again, this is another effort by Sky News to uh, push back on things that are said about Andrew in the media. And someone said, that not just about Andrew Bolt, it was actually also about Sky News. So Sky is selling this notion that for whatever reason, uh, we should never be concerned about climate change. There are far more important things in this world to worry about uh, as opposed to the end of life as we know it. And that Andrew Bolt, of course, according to Andrew Bolt, is always right. So he can... And it's got a few other examples of these obscure people who would argue from the left of politics uh, something that I also believe is uh, extreme. So anyway, I'd be interested to know what you think. Uh, let me know in the comments below um, whether you think Andrew Bolt's a dick, whether you think that uh, as a journalist he has any great value, and whether or not you think that just propagating stuff, false information and disinformation about climate change is at all helpful. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell to my channel. Thanks everybody for being with me. Take care, look after yourselves, and more importantly, be safe.